What's up YouTube? It's Green Done. It's been a long time since I've made a video, but I'm going to try to make this one short and sweet. Yesterday uh, I was fishing um, and I got an email that somebody made a comment. Enzo made a comment on my AB switch, selector switch that I built. I'll put the link in here somewhere that you can watch it. It's pretty boring, but it shows you how to build an AB selector switch for your guitar to amp, whatever. You can watch it and you'll see. But he was confused about how I used this jack as an on-off switch for the LEDs here. These are LEDs with the pull-down resistor going into a switch. And essentially when you step on the switch, it runs this into either this one or this one. And when you click on that switch, it, these LEDs will light up indicating which one of these are active. And he's having a problem wiring it to where this acts as an on-off switch. Um, so I'm going to explain this to him. Essentially what you'll need is a stereo jack. I don't know if you have one of these, which is just a mono jack, but you'll have to get a stereo jack, whether it's one, an open one like this or an enclosed one like this. So what this is, and I know this drawing can be a little confusing, and I'm sorry, but this is a stereo jack. If you see, these are monos right here. You can see there's only one tab coming out here, the negative, and then that's where your positive or signal goes to right here. And see, this one has two tabs, and then the positive, the positive runs under here. Um, so what you're gonna do is if you have a stereo jack like this, these are easier, by the way, instead of these enclosed ones, because these enclosed ones have five tabs. But what you're gonna have is a, is another one of these jacks and it's got another tab coming out. You'll have to find out which one is ground and which one's signal. You can tell this one's the ground because it's run to this, but you can get a digital multimeter and you know test continuity to find out which one's which one of the other ones is ground. Um, and that's what you'll do is run the nine volt power to not the signal ground but the other ground, the extra ground you know, pretend there's another tab coming out here. What you'll do is run your power and your LED, you know, your power and your LED negatives to this one. And then you'll run all your signals to this one. And essentially what that does is, um, I, mean, uh, sh I can show you better on this one. Um, I don't know, let me try to get this focused here. Let me try to get some light. Okay. So what you have is five of these tabs. I, went, I only need three. But right now, so this would be the ground, your signal ground. This would be your tip, your signal. And then I don't know if you can see that little bump right there. That little bump right there is your extra ground. And so when you take your quarter inch jack, right now these two grounds are not connected. So... There's no, there's no electricity can flow through here, you know, because you're running your LEDs and your power to this one. So right now there's no flow of electricity right here. Basically acts as a switch is in the off position. It breaks contact. But when you put this quarter inch plug in here, what happens is, I don't know if you can see in there real well. I don't think you can. But that little bump that I showed you a second ago, is making contact with this with these two so it's acting as like basically like a wire jumping across and that allows the flow of electricity on and that's what allows your LED to come on so I don't know if this explains it I hope it does um, if you want to go online and look you know Google use a quarter inch jack for a switch then you'll better understand it but that's essentially what I did just buy a quarter inch jack a stereo jack like this it's got an extra prong and that should be your ground you should have two grounds and essentially what would happen is there'd be another prong that touches this you know see how this loop touches that there'd be another one where it touches that and it would make a connection between these two to allow the flow of electricity um, my dog's barking and uh, which signals the close of this video um, I hope this helps but just so you know, on this drawing, um, let me get this pointer real quick. 
if you look at this drawing, and it looks better on the video, but there's two um, connectors right here. And you should see there's only one on these. Um, so that's your signal. And that's your LED negative. And then this is your signal negative. So, yep, that's how you do it. Um, I hope this helps. If not, just let me know and I'll try to further explain it. All right, man, take it easy.